Hello everyone, it's Chuck Thunder, and we're here for another episode of the Let's Play. Uh, we're gonna log in. I don't remember. Oh, not Chuck. Charles Thunder. We're gonna log in and we're gonna see where we left off with <clears throat> uh, Gonzo Rivera. Oops, I just got a package. Um, we're going to check in well, where we were with Gonzo Rivera. Uh, I think I just had finished the intermediate exam with Adventure, and we're going to have to continue from there. Um, it may be difficult at this stage to get into... Um, okay, wow, that took a long time. All right, so now that we're fish. in. We'll, cl we'll select our character, Gonzo, and we're in. So, let's see where we left off with him. I'm pretty sure we're in Sagers at the moment. Yes, we are. Oh, we are skipping. Man, I need to get a better computer. Alright, I'm sorry about that, everybody. <laughs> I just got concerned that maybe my computer was about to just crap out on me. But no, it seems like it's okay. So, I'm pretty sure if we click the Adventure uh, Course Instructor, we're going to see the quests that we have available to us. And I don't think we're going to see... This is the Beginner's Task. The final exam for the Intermediate. So, so since we already did this one already, we did a different version. We did one with Archaeology instead of Geography. Um... We could just keep grinding them, but uh, I'm just going to show you guys other parts of this game right now, because I want to get my fame up a little bit more with other things. Right now, our total fame is probably only looking at... Yeah, I mean, it's really easy to do, so we're going to change our jobs. Oh, we can't. All right, well, it looks like we're staying in Adventure. Uh, requires a letter of endorsement to change. Yeah forgot about that. Alright, well that doesn't mean we can't do a trade job to begin with. One of these should give us a... This one wants to go to Plymouth, which we just did unlock the northern end. Uh, Marseille. Seven barrels of rosemary, which we can get in Valencia along the way. Oh, excuse me. And then some prunes sent to Calais. Purchase five barrels and then take them to her and get, deliver them from uh, we don't do anything to upset her for mercy's sake. Okay, well, this one is a special quest here. It's a bonus quest. I don't know how important they are, but it's the most valuable one. It's going to give us the most money. So, let's, And we need French for it, so we know it. We don't know English, so this might be harder to do. So we're going to do this one. Need to get to Calais and buy prunes. Oh, prunes to be sent to Calais. So let's do that one. Can we take another quest? And this says go to Marseille. Well, let's see to Marseille. So that's kind of like along the way. So we're going to do that. Now, where do we get prunes? That is a good question. So let's check our quest, see if it tells us where to get prunes from. <clears throat> nope, it doesn't say to where to get prunes. Well, if you don't know where, this is a nice little training station for, for people. Oops, I should not have clicked. Google Chrome. Now my computer's going to... According to the official charted... Uh, Uncharted Waters oh, fandom. Uh, prunes can be bought. Whoa. 
specialty in Italy and southern France. They can be bought in Marseille. Oh, would you look at that? So that's perfect. We need to buy the stuff in Marseille. Oh, I just realized I don't think we could travel with goods to Calais. You can't. So I'm going to show you something. We do need to do this quest regardless. So we are going to get ourselves situated to sail. What, what ship are we sailing right now? I've since forgotten. It's been too long. Oh, we're sailing, sailing our sloop, so that's good. Sloop is always good. All right. So let's let's just get ourselves on the road to uh, Marseille, and we're gonna sail it for real, I think. So these trade quests tend to be pretty long. Um, eh, we're gonna auto nav it because we gotta go to Valencia first anyway. So these these navigate these quests for trade tend to be pretty long because of where you need to go, and sometimes they're easier, sometimes they're longer. It, it depends on which quest you pick up. I find the ones that take you to uh, the northern areas to be the most profitable, but also the most stressful because you have the largest distance to go. Um, so it's it's just a matter of preference of what you prefer. Oh, look at that. I got an email from a guy I met when I was in unemployment. Wishing us all a happy season's greetings. I guess I should use that as a trigger to wish all of you a happy holidays. No matter what holiday you uh, celebrate, it's Hanukkah is the first night tonight. And Christmas in only a matter of 13 days. Can you believe it? This year is so, sure has flown by. I can't imagine, you know, this, this year being what it is. But it, it turned out to be pretty good despite it. Um... All that, without getting into the details, I'm just happy that I'm alive and I'm here and I'm able to show you guys this game. I'm really starting to regret maybe showing you this video because if you've gotten the gist of doing the adventure quests, you can do the trade quests. They're just about as straightforward as the adventure quests. The only quests that really become tricky are the maritime quests because there's some longer battles involved with them some of which that you might need some help to do especially the final exam so the trade quests they just they just long that's just the biggest issue with them like this one's going to have us go to buy five barrels of prunes to bring to Calais but we can't there's a little catch to how we're going to get there so Calais I'm going to bring up the map since we haven't been there yet, we have to even discover it. We can't even do the thing I wanted to. Oh. Okay, yeah, so here's all these cities that we've have yet to discover in the Northern Europe area. We have all of them visible to us, but we haven't collected them yet, yet with discovery cards. Wow. My, my computer is a real potato. Uncharted Waters is not responding, but I hear it. Everyone else here. Oh, we made it. I was about right. Just say we're gonna have to call this one a night. Jesus, computer. Hopefully the video doesn't jump as I speak and say that. Speak of the devil. Um. But. Jesus, this is going to kill me. So anyways, Calais is up here. Right in this area. It's not discovered yet, but it's up in this area here. And Calais is one of those places in which that has a chariot that you could take. And the chariot is in Marseille. And you could take Marseille to Paris and from Paris to Calais. Don't know that we can do it unless if we've discovered Calais first, which is why it's not showing it here for us. We'd have to discover it first before we can do it. Um, I think that's the real catch. It's dragging a ship across land, I have no idea.
but wow whoa would you look at that we're spinning out of control we are all over the place I don't think my boat knows what's going on whoa this is what happens when you got a potato computer and a bad internet connection today apparently Whew. well that was exciting anyway so we're gonna have to go to Valencia buy what we need go to Mars to say hand in that quest sail back to Sagers hand in the qu hand in the quest that took us from Valencia to Marseille after buying the prunes of Marseille to sail continuously all the way around to Calais to hand that quest in <sighs> that's gonna be a long video so I don't want to show you any of that <laughs> I feel like this might be a good time to maybe dis to just discuss other concepts in the game maybe ones in which that haven't been discussed yet so as we're sailing I'm just gonna click through my character information tabs and just try to show you some of the other questions that you might have um, so company I have a company with my other characters but not with this one yet because um, I want to show you how to join one at some point and maybe I could join a French one if I want to while I'm in Marseille but I, I have one up in Amsterdam that I'd like to join that is I'm already part of with my other tunes so one of these videos I will show you how to join a company and what sort of benefits they offer um, skills so we like I said we've left a lot of our skills to the minimal here oh god here we go oh it worked um, we left a lot of our skills in the minimal here, but we do it because we have three slots available, and I want to keep these here for now because we're doing a lot of these quests. I might choose to forget Italian because we don't do much Italian work, you know, areas anytime soon. Besides, nothing that body language can't do for us, and I want to start training the body language. So I might start forgetting these these languages. Uh, I might just forget Portuguese, French, and Italian to start doing quests with body language, unless the quests require me to have the language. And that way I can open up these skills for other things um, as I need them. Other adventure skills, other trade skills, whatever we end up focusing. Uh, battle skills as well. Whichever, you know, really we prefer. Okay, so this purple cloud means you're lacking nutrition. It says the sailors are lacking nutrition. So this requires food in order to do this. And you eat some vigor food and it should go away. Um, I think that's specific to uh, certain kinds of foods. So you might have to... Uh, eat certain ones to get rid of it, but most foods I think do that. Get rid of the lacking nutrition option uh, that's floating above your boat's head. Alright, so what else? Text I don't know anything about. Someone else is going to have to explain that one, not me. Equipment. So we have our regulation stuff from school, and then these other equipments can give you boosts. I don't know why I'm using the reserve candle, but I just am. There's other things here that give us other boosts uh, to search, and to procurement, and to leadership, so you look for the correct item that gives you the appropriate uh, boosts. Oh, look at that. I could register a secondary item. Cool. Alright. Um, inventory. So I may not have shown this before, but in your inventory, you have an option called store. And in the store option, you could store up to two other items that you don't want in your main inventory here to start. And in your binder, you could store a lot of these uh, items that are documents of some kind books livestock here I have my livestock fish and pigs um, and simple recipes book in my binder you get up to 16 items you don't need to fill it up completely just fill it with the things that you want to I like to put these things in here I might pop this in there just to save the inventory space as I need it but you know it's one of those things that you end up using to change your adventurer guilds uh, uh, job at some point so we're gonna hold on to that but that's how you put things out of your inventory and into storage. Ship information. I went through all this already. Uh, ship name, ship inventory. Here you can see all the ships that you have um, and each of their stats. And you can change the parts for each of them. Here I've already got the parts the way I want them to be. So that's up to there. Let's see what else. Okay, so now we need to get something from Valencia for this quest. I forget what it is. Quest. Uh, this quest is the one that we're doing. Purchase in Valencia seven barrels of rosemary. So, we're going to need to go to the market and buy seven barrels of rosemary. And here we are at the market. Jeez, what the heck? Scroll till you find rosemary. Seven barrels of rosemary. 
pretty sure that's what it said. Seven? Seven. You may want to buy more in case there's a fire. That might help. So you know what we're just going to do? We're going to buy a bunch of it. We're going to max it out. It's probably going to sell well in the next city anyways. Doesn't hurt to have it, especially if it will sell. All right, so now we're going to go to the next city. We are going to go to Marseille. I got five days worth. Well, that should get us to Marseille. Oh, maybe not. Eh, I don't know. Just talk a couple provisions, anyways. All right, so we're gonna go to Marseille. Use our traditional skills, and there we go. So now we're on our mar way to Marseille for this quest to Leonardo da Vinci. Okay, so that's good. Alright, we know where he is. Anyway, so back where I left off. Ship parts, cargo. In the cargo options here, you can convert supplies um, that you have in your trade goods a lot to food and water if you need to, or to lump timber, or even munitions. You can also dump cargo if you need to dump it for other reasons. I don't know what you'd be dumping for, but other than to make space when you really need it. Recruit, uh, I guess, is a tab I know nothing about. And joining fleets. Uh, there's no recruitment for fleets. More things I don't know anything about. Charts. This is a part of the game in which that will become uh, open to you as you get to Mercator in Amsterdam. And he's going to have you do special tasks in each of these different seas. Um, in which that you sail around, fish, battle, um, you know, recog do use recognition in certain areas of the map. Uh, while sailing at sea to uh, complete a chart of the region and every time you do that you get a little bit of adventure It's a great way to grind adventure experience So the Lisbon Sea here you you might sail around in this area to different locations you use your recognition skill battles uh, fish and trade and all sorts of other things just to finish off the uh, the the research that goes into that. So you have to get to Mercator. It'll pop up here in the blue area and say, like, a man named Mercator who wants to see you in Amsterdam. Well, when you get that, go there. Um, I, my stuff might already be saying that. I have no idea. But if it does, go do it. You know, when you got the time. I wouldn't... I would wait till you have a good enough ship um, that you can do it in, like a fast ship. The faster the ships, the faster you'll do these chartings. You know, sloops are okay. Um, I waited until after that. I waited until I finished the schools to do any charting. I think that's, like, the main thing. Don't do any charting until after you finish schools, is my personal opinion. Treasure hunts, I know nothing about those. Shipwrecks, I know a little bit about them. Um, I know that if you collect a certain number of shipwreck, shipwreck map pieces, then it'll show you the location of a shipwreck, and you use that to find the location, and then from there you use ropes and the haul skill and other things, tow skill, excuse me, to... Um, tow the boat back to a major city in which that you'll get the rewards from the si uh, from the boat when you uh, do that. Uh, special item effects, if you have any items, that's when you click it, it'll open a box to show you what the item's effects are doing to you. Like I have these sailing spendants things that'll extra ship speed, so I'll go use, ahead and use one. And you'll see it here, underneath ship item effects, and boom. Ship speed increase, increase vessel speed for a fixed period of time. 30% supposedly, so you're talking 30% of maybe like 8 knots, so, well, 10% of 8 knots is 0.8, right, so 30% would be increasing up by like 1.6 would be double, so, you know, you're talking almost 2 knots, it's a big improvement on some ships. People love those things, especially when they're doing the races. Anyways, historical events, I told you this is where you'll see a list of events in which that are happening historically within the world. Um... I know nothing about these moral histories, but you can read about them if you want. Uh, world clock, this shows you like the time of day it is in the world. Event history, this is the one I was actually mentioning. This one shows you the st uh, storyline for your main quest, the circumnavigation quest, and Wonder Seekers storyline. It's up to you if you want to participate in them. Discoveries, as we mentioned, this shows you the list of your discoveries. I have no port settlements, medium-sized creatures or treasures to re unreported, but I st and I still have no historical relics to be unreported either. So, that's a good sign. And I don't know anything about debates. 
memorial album just shows you the collection of all things that you've bought, sold, fished up, hunted, collected, procured. You name it. Let's see a list. All right, now we need to go to Da Vinci. All right, Da Vinci, where art thou? Imperial Villa, Nostradamus, the Mansion, Da Vinci Estate. Okay, so we're going to teleport to this port, and then we're going to go right to Da Vinci. What else we got here? Review lecture. Nothing there. No displayable quests. Challenge missions. I told you this is where you get rewards for completing uh, certain things. I can get a Hanseatic Seal right now, and I can get Memorandum of Secret No War Pact right now if I wanted to obtain those rewards. They're good. They're not all necessarily needed to be reclaimed right away. Only claim them, I think, as you need them. Because otherwise you'll fill your inventory probably with a bunch of them that you can't use. Alright, so we talked to Da Vinci. We got the Rosemary quest done. Uh, I think we're completely done with that quest. It says quest complete, so that's good. You are now on a bonus quest and it's valid only for today. Make sure to report the completion before the time runs out. Oh, see, that's another thing. Certain quests like bonus ones are, have time limits, so if you're going to start them, you got to finish them. All right, so anyways, let's sell the rest of our rosemary while we're here. Hopefully it sells for a profit. Not that we're in a trade job, but just trying to make a little bit of cash. It does sell for more. Decent profit. Can we buy anything from Marseille that we'd bring back? Oh, yeah. Duh, I need prunes. Okay, so I'm just going to buy all the prunes that I can for right now. Because we know we need them for the other quest. Oh, see, look at that. See, there's a collection theme at the memorial item. I bought a luxury item, so now it's in the memorial item. So, boom. It'll show you East Mediterranean specialties, you know. Multi cannon and skull verns, grammatic translation notes. Like, these are all things. I don't know what you get. I don't. Oh, you do get a reward for completing the memorial albums. That's something I didn't know. I learned something as I played. I had no idea. So, I might take you into another character to show you how that works at some point. Um, unless if I happen to close. I don't know if I've ever actually finished a. Um, yeah, I don't think I've ever actually finished one of these anymore. That's maybe why I never noticed. Uh, so that's anyways a thing. Sailor's Guide just shows you different ways on tips and details on how to do each of these things. It's just like a help page. I've never used it. And world information. You know, what chapter, what, what chapter, what um, server we're in, what the events that are going on right now. Right now from the, 20th, the 16th through the 23rd, um, so that's a couple days. You can go to these cities to do some uh, investment in, and those investments that you can go to, uh, that you do, will give you bonuses for the amount of that you money that you invest. A new trend in emer is emerging in Spain: uh, Turkish goods. So that's a hit to what things you can bring to Spain to sell for a high profit. Uh, academic conferences in today's trading factory good. I don't know any of these things. Here's the. Um, ESF, the Epic Sea Feud between Venice and England. It's happening in Manchester on the 11th, which is today, and ends on two days. So something that Venice, Venetians and English could fight with. Um, and I guess they got the help of the Ottomans. Interesting. Stuff I don't know. Uh, world Clock, Epic Sea Seafood is in session. So all these different things. It's just like server world events going on. And then the other things allows you to search your friends lists, uh, your chat room if you want to change your chat room settings, your world chat settings if you have any mail, your set you know you can change your s status, you can make a bazaar if you have an aid, you can set up an aid bazaar if you have an aid that's a high enough uh, trust, and your bounty record which I have none because no one, I'm not considered an outlaw. Congratulations, I am not special. Anyways, so we are out of um, vigor, so let us get some vigor food in us. Going to the tavern. And I'll set sail for Calais. And then we're already in this uh, video for probably like 20 minutes. So I don't know. Um, I don't know that we're going to show you everything. It all depends. We'll see what happens when we reach like the 40 minute mark. I think it's going to sail. Take us like more than 20 minutes to sail to Calais. Because if I know anything about sailing this early on in the game, it takes a long time. And I don't prefer it, but it is necessary. Alright. 
Actually, you know what I think is actually hurting us? I want to mention this, that if you don't have a full crew, you tend to go slower. Um, I don't know if that's truly the case. Um, so, since I'm dealing with such a small crew as it is, I'm just going to fill my crew up uh, fully. Never really questioned it, but today we'll do it. Alright, set sail. Ooh, I forgot. Again, once you add sailors, you need more food and water to travel longer distances. Alright, so let us auto-nav at least as far as we can auto-nav for. Hmm, that's as far as Lisbon, but we need to go to Sager, so we're going to go to Sager's first. Alright, so I believe I've taught you everything you really need to know about questing. It's the ad final exams that I think I'm going to check in with you guys next on. It might be a little while to like, get there in the videos because I don't want to keep on showing you guys pointless videos of quests in which that are not retaining to you. So I'm going to have to play this tune on my own time until I get there. And of course, the holidays, my time is going to be a little bit limited. So I'm not going to be able to sh get on this game, you know, and to to show you much, uh, in t you know, over the course of the next week to two weeks. Probably might have to wait till after the new year. So um, I wanted to stop in one more time to show you guys uh, how to switch to the next uh, tr quest lines, and it's pretty simple. The battle quest will be battle things, trade will be trade ones, adventure will be adventure ones. It's pretty straightforward. Um, I do recommend that again you focus them until their completion. Uh, it's okay to do like up to the intermediate for both. It's pretty easy to do the intermediate up to for adventure, maritime, and uh, trade. If you do that, then you will have the sloop for each of the quests, uh, for each of the chains. So right now we're using the adventure sloop, which is pretty good, but once you get the trade sloop, it'll be, I believe, a little bit better in the department of cargo, but not necessarily in speed but I don't notice that much of a difference between the two. So just go ahead and use the trade sloop for pretty much all things until you need to do battle stuff, and then when you need to do battle stuff, you can go to the um, maritime sloop because you get three kinds of sloops, I believe. I believe. I could be wrong, but that is my experience. But anyways, do them all the way up to intermediate. I'm going to do the same. With all of my, with this character all the way up, until I have the trade levels and the fame that I need in order to unlock the uh, major quests for the final exams for each of the uh, jobs. So, and along the way, I'm going to get a trade card, I believe, as I'm doing this, and I'm going to have to choose a trade job. So, you know, we didn't have to choose an adventure job because we had an adventure job right from the beginning of the game because we had to select one. So once you do a few of these trade quests, you will get a trade guild card, and then you could actually pick a trade from the guild to tra change into um, and choose your uh, forward fate from there. Like I said, I'm used to cooking. Cooking is my favorite skill to do because it's easy to grind, and it's something I can show you how to do. Um, this will be my second cooking character, so I'm going to go so far with the cooking probably with this character and then stop and then start focusing on something else. I have another character that's focusing casting and sewing and fabrics. I haven't gotten into sewing and fabrics just yet with him, but um, I will. And then this character I might make... Um, I, I don't know. I don't know what that might make this quick character. This character might just become a battle uh, guy because battle can be fun to watch, and uh, that might be the more of the focus. I just wanted to do adventure first because I knew that it was probably the most time-consuming, potentially, for uh, and the most difficult to do because you got to do these discoveries and they're not self-explanatory at all. So, but anyways, I think we're gonna stop it here, guys. So I'm gonna go hand in the quest over at Sagers. When I'm done with Sagers, then I'm going to go straight up to Calais, and I'm going to bring the prunes to the person that I need to in Calais. Um, and then I have to sail back to uh, Sagers again to hand in the quest. Um, so, you know, it is, it's just difficult to have to make you guys wait for all of this sailing to go on. So, well, I think we're going to have to stop here. Next time we'll come in, we'll check in with each other when I've reached the intermediate levels for all three of the quests. Um, 
quest lines and I'm ready to do the final exams. Again, I'm going to stop it. I showed you the final exam. I haven't showed you the final exam for adventure yet either, so it's going to take some time until I get there uh, with the fame. So keep grinding away at playing these quests. If you don't have the fame to unlock them, just keep grinding the quests. Even if you're doing repeat quests, you will continue to get better. Um, like I said, you could also then maybe focus some of the event history stuff for Spain or whatever your country you're working on, and you will get the fame you need to unlock those higher quests. So hopefully in the next couple of weeks I can get there over the uh, winter break, and when I have that done, I could show you how to do those quests. Alright everybody, take it easy. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and comment if you like.